Hey everyone, this is Dana, and today we're preparing to do a generator test on our house. So we've got our house set up so we can do a full load test, and I'm going to walk you through all the steps that we do to set that up. I've got this uh, generator here. It used to be a light plant from the Marine Corps, so it's a Magnum light plant, and uh, these come all set up to be rapidly deployed. There was a uh, uh, high voltage lights inside the light plant that are inside the body of it. Um, and then there was a mast on top to hold the lights, but we only want to use it as a generator So we've taken all the extra stuff off of it that we don't need and then we're about to do a load test on the house to see how it works with everything Okay, this is a diesel generator. It's only got a small fuel tank. So you got to keep an eye on it What's really nice about these uh, old military surplus generators is they come With a full manual so everything you need to maintain it is right in here along with a set of easy setup instructions on the side. You can see where it was set up with the light tower before. Like I said, we took that off to save weight. We don't need the light tower, so that way I could quickly move this around with the Kubota. Right now it's on my trailer. All right, so let's start going through the procedure of setting this generator up. And to prepare to connect it to the house, the generator plugs into the back of the circuit panel, but we need the whole voltage from the generator, not just like 120 volts off the front. So we're just gonna disconnect that. I set up the... Uh, the cable for our generator in this Milwaukee packout box to help keep it out of the elements. You see it, it coils up in here real nicely and that gives me about uh, 12 feet of cable I believe I have in here. And you can quickly deploy it when you're ready for an emergency like we're testing it today. We need to go ahead and plug the house into the generator, making sure we keep the load off on the house until the generator is fully up and running. Now when you're running a backup generator like this too, it's important to shed any excess load that you don't need to be running. So I've already shut off my water heater, and now we're gonna shut off these RV pads that are attached to my house. So we only run the essential stuff in the house off the generator. And shut off the house main. That is the main power coming into the house is now off. Okay, before I start the generator, I always like to make sure all the breakers are off. Even though right now we're not feeding through any of these breakers because we've unplugged the generator portion. But if I was running out of these front outlets, I'd want to make sure these were off before I fire up the generator. So then we switch the generator to run. You hear the fuel pump kick on. And we hit the glow plugs just for a few seconds and then we'll start it. Can slide up our interlock and turn on the generator interlock so now all the power will be coming from our generator and you can't turn on the main because we've got the safety interlock here okay so everything around here should be powered now off this generator let's go check it everything seems to be working on the generator i need to make sure my well kicks on with that generator let's just let all the water out Okay, so I don't know if you can hear that, but I hear the well pumping right now. Okay, everything seems to be running good off the generator, but let's uh, check the condition of the power we've got coming in here. So go ahead and put the amp clamp on it, and then we'll give it a little load test by starting up the clothes dryer. So you see right now i got got uh, 2.8 amps on this leg, and uh, 5.4 amps, uh, 5.2 amps. It's fluctuating back and forth on this leg. Now it's up to 7. And then we uh, just started up the clothes dryer. So you can see it jumped up to 30 amps on uh, the left side here. And 23, almost 24 amps on the right we side leg. Uh, and let's go ahead and uh, check the voltage coming off the generator. And these are the main lugs going from the outside service panel into the house. Getting a 226. Generator test is done. I'm getting ready to shut everything off. So first step is we'll go ahead and turn off the generator breaker. So that cuts the load of the house. So everything's dead now inside. And then we gotta move the interlock so we can flip the main back on. So now we're safe and we'll go ahead and hit the main. All right, now the house is back on normal main power. Show you a little bit about this generator. This is a three cylinder diesel engine. This is the generator end over here. Made by Marathon Electric. 
like I said, this was a Marine Corps generator that we bought surplus. It only has uh, 573 hours on it. So for a diesel, that's basically brand new. And it's got some added features, like this is a direct 24 volt plug for anything you might need it for. It's got these jack stands on it, so you can help set, set it up on a surface and level it. It's fully enclosed. Originally, lights were stored in here, and, but we're not going to be using those lights. They're, uh, they're old mercury vapor lights and nothing we need to use around here. Buying something military surplus is nice because you know it's, uh, it's built really well. And it's, it's just made to last a really long time. And so this thing's got 500 hours on it, but that, that's just nothing. Now the generator's off, it's all cooled down. It's uh, safe to unplug this cord. That side will plug back into the generator panel so I can use it as a mobile generator. We use it for uh, welding and stuff like that in the meantime. These are transformers to make you the 408 volt power for the uh, parking lot style lights that are on it. They're, they're not used in the household process. You take them out of the circuit when you uh, unplug it right here because then you're tapping directly into the generator, which is at 220 volt. Being military surplus, this came with a few extras. There's a solar power charger, which you got to check to make sure yours works if you uh, pick up the same model. And there's a little battery tester right here. It tells you uh, the charge on your batteries. You said it's a 24 volt system. That When I picked this uh, generator up, the only thing was wrong was it needed uh, new batteries. So I got the new batteries in it and it started right up, no problems. You've got wiring schematics right here that just makes it really easy to work on and operate. And you can see the, some of the lights and how you store them is listed on the side. And now that we're done with the generator test, time to put everything away. Back in the Milwaukee pack out box here. Now that's ready for next time when we have a real emergency. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great one.